conductor. Well, it's a little less cold in here. You must have done something to fix it. <laughs> Feels a little it's better. Degrees outside. I know, but I'm saying the last couple of times it's been very cold. Um, uh, Patrick Duff, uh, Haddon Heights resident, former Delran resident. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so, real quick, I mean, um, congratulations, by the way. I don't know if anybody saw my predictions earlier online. I predicted every candidate you picked, and I predicted that you would be sitting there. I call myself the Swami of Salami. Political predictions by Patrick Duff. Uh, go back and look right on the Facebook page, Delran Residence official page, the page that your communications director never posts on. Do, do you want to never know why posts that is? on. Do, would you like to know why that is? Why? Because they, uh, prior to her becoming communications director, didn't agree with what she was posting, and they haven't let her on that page. Well, she would post on that if. If well, you maybe was. should find somebody to try to post on that page. That's 8,500 people on that page. And it was funny because a couple of weeks ago, somebody called me and said, hey, we're having issues with the ambulances. There's no ambulances working in town. So I called the ambulance service. I got uh, some confirmation of that, and I wrote an article, and I put it out. My article said nothing, didn't create any emergency in anybody's mind, literally just pointed out the facts. Then I, uh, a statement comes out from the township that, only the township's communications come from the township. You know, watch out for the other communications coming from other sources. That's ridiculous. I mean, nothing I said in my article was bad. I get, let me ask you, is there a protocol, because we're talking about these emails, these phishing emails that come in. Is there a protocol where you don't open attachments to emails that are sent from an unknown known source? We have extensive training that all these... Is that, is that, the, is that the protocol, that you don't, you don't click a link from an unknown source? Yeah. Yeah. So how did you click the link that came in from the blog? How did you find out about the blog that was written about me that said I faked my cancer that came in from the, the, the blog or the Sunlight Disinfects 2022? How did you know about it? You had to have clicked on the link. I, it, was, it was sent a year ago. I don't remember how, how I found out about it. It came to me anonymously. No, it came to you in an email from an unknown source. Did you open the link? It's hard to remember a year ago, but I'm sure I saw it because I well, you had to because you commented on what was on the blog. I may have I may have copied the link and uh, uh, typed it in directly so that it wouldn't be your your memory is getting better now, huh? But you know, now you clicked on the link because you knew who it came from because it came from inside the source of Del Ran. I've got a mole here letting yeah. me know that. Real. Yep. Yep. Care to share who that is? Care to share who the non-resident is? Which non resident? Exactly. You see, I love this. I, uh, my, my, the political sparring that I have with Del Rand just makes me so much better for the other, other towns. Um, and you are the biggest butte I've ever met in politics. Because you, you literally uh, will create new stories on top of other stories. Do you realize that a lie on top of a lie just makes it more difficult to remember what you're saying? I mean, that is probably your worst political, uh, political move, uh, is that you continue to lie. Um, the blog came in to you through an outside third email, and you opened it. Isn't that right? Sir, we, the, the council members and the mayor are not here to answer every question that you put. And frankly, we know you have a lawsuit about some blog and your issues. Correct. And I don't see why you should have this. Because it came from this, ma'am. It came from my experiences in Delran. And I, there's somebody telling me that it came from inside of Delran. How about we do an investigation? Would you launch an investigation? Sir, we're not going to do any investigations at this point on the basis of what's being said. You have a lawsuit about the law. I've heard you say And that. I've yet to name anybody in the lawsuit here in Delran. You say that in this, in this room and point to several other people, and then you want to come up here and talk about this. It's not appropriate. And sure, it's appropriate. Council people should speak, and frankly, I'm Do not you, so sure that everyone here is really interested in your personal business. You know what's interesting about that? Is this, this is free speech. This is my, my opportunity to speak, right? right? So right. with my opportunity to speak, not only have I exposed that there was a $300,000 settlement that was covered up by the town, that there was a trash contract that's 45% higher than the previous contract that was one bid, that there was uh, bid splitting and all these other things that I've uncovered. So what I've come up here and said actually has made a difference. Okay? And I do want to applaud you for the Delray Night Out. It was a great event. Thousands yeah. of people showed up. 
but there should be an investigation because there's somebody in town that helped write the blog that claimed I faked cancer to steal money from people. And Thank if you, you think Mr. that's right, you're crazy. Thank you, Mr. Bell. Any other comments? Please raise your hand. Yeah. 